Welcome, this is MCG Tech with a DIY hybrid water and air cooling system for under $60. In this video, I will show you the process I went through in order to create this cooling system. To start off, the components you will need include a CPU block, a 120mm radiator, two barb to pipe thread fittings, some tubing, a small fountain pump, and a CPU cooler. The total cost of these parts should be around $60, depending on your choice in specific hardware. All of these components will be listed in the description below, excluding the CPU cooler, considering how yours will be different. Additionally, I don't attribute a cost to the reservoir, because you can just use a jar. I began by attaching a fan to the radiator. Once the fan was secured, I screwed in both of the barb fittings. I know mixing metals is not recommended in water cooling due to the fact it causes corrosion, but I plan to empty this loop pretty regularly in order to test different things. And if you are going to use this in your personal setup, I recommend using an aluminum fitting instead. After the radiator setup was completed, I moved on to attaching a fan to my passive CPU cooler. This should help my cooler stay cold during longer spans of stressing. The final step before assembly is water sanding the CPU water block. Considering how these water blocks are so cheap, they tend to not be perfectly smooth. By sanding the block, you allow the cooler to make better connection to the CPU. In order to test for any leaks, I assembled the loop, and to my relief, it worked. For my fluid, I am using distilled water and some food coloring so you can see the fountain pump at work. After letting the loop run, not connected to the computer, for 20 minutes, I felt confident enough to install it. Thankfully, there were no leaks when I tested it the second time. Once I powered the computer on, I used my thermal gun to check some temperatures. The heatsink was around 10 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than when it was just an air cooler. In order to test this cooling system, I used CPU-Z to stress the CPU for 10 minutes. Once the test was completed, I was thrilled with the 6 degrees Celsius drop for Core 0 and the 7 degrees Celsius drop in Core 1. Additionally, this hybrid cooling destroyed the air-cooled Peltier cooler I tested in a previous video. In conclusion, this project turned out far better than I anticipated. Considering how cheap all of these parts are, and how simple the installation is, I definitely recommend building this, except without mixing metals. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also feel free to check out the rest of my content on my channel. Thanks for watching.